Hello Pisces, how are you today? Let's take a look and see what is happening in your love life. The overall energy from Spirit. I want to welcome everyone, watchers, cross-watchers, subscribers, and new viewers. I'm so happy to have you here. Thank you for all of your support. Thumbs up, comments. Tell me where you're from. I am broadcasting from Chicago and I love to know where everybody is from because I used to travel worldwide for a living for my career extremes my first career extreme spices what are you up to this looks pretty hot <laughs> this looks like a hot night in the old town tonight okay hot times what is going on pisces creation Many of you are in a very creative time in your life, and it's really revving up the life forces, shall we say? Focus. Ooh, Pisces, you're transforming. Look at this beautiful butterfly. There's something transformative happening with your emotions. You're able to look beneath the surface to what's down here. You're growing and you're understanding and you're changing. Your focus is very much on a transformation. Really changing your life. Pisces, you want passion. You want to really express yourself creatively. So I love that. Love is a creative expression. Since love is ruled by the Empress and she is the planet Venus. Everything sensual, sexual, beautiful. Anything that feels good, smells good, tastes good. All right, so what do we have here? So, <clears throat> the overall energy in the deck is the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands energy is Sagittarius energy. It is freewheeling energy. It means that you may not really want to settle down at this time. The energy between you and a person in the recent past, Eight of Pentacles, working on things, getting to know each other, getting to know all about each other, Virgo, energy showing up on time when you want to, you know, when you want to make something grow, you, uh, you tend the garden, so to speak, and the current energy is a Justice card. Justice card is Libra energy, this is Virgo energy. But what we see is that right now, Pisces, you need something balanced. You may be involved in a legal situation or relationship. The Fool card says that you want a new beginning. You're really, this is interesting that the player energy came up because it doesn't look really like that's what you want. We see the energy of how your person views you, the sun energy, Pisces. They view you as the one, the one and only for them. The sun's the happiest card in the deck. Your person wants a brand new beginning with you. They want to be treated fairly, as do you. But you also want to be fair to this person. So let's look and see, Pisces. Your person um, in their heart space feels very distraught. We feel this heart space energy is Eight of Cups. That's actually your energy, Pisces. Your person feels as though you've abandoned them, that you've walked away from them, that you were in player mode with them. The Tower card says that you have, that your person is feeling very much like this could be a hopeless situation. It could be the end of the road. They feel like there's definitely a crisis afoot, that the foundation isn't as strong as they thought it to be. Okay. Um, let's see what the energy is that's hidden between the two of you. Oh, two cards here. Victory. And going to the next level. So both of you want to have a very successful relationship. Both of you want it to be balanced. Both of you want it to be fair. Why do we have, what spirit's message to you? Spirit is giving you the message of what about this relationship. Let go of the burdens. Don't carry this with you. It's not yours to really deal with Pisces. You may also feel very guilty about that, this person, and the outcome right now. The reason I think you're feeling guilty is that you, that you didn't really ever really have any serious intent with them. The Page of Cups is like, easy come, easy go. We're just two kids here just having some fun. 
but now this energy between the two of you has really changed. Both of you are in a different mood and a different mode. So let's go ahead and let's clarify these cards because this is an interesting reading. So Pisces, what is it? Extremes. Maybe you go from one extreme to another. Maybe you go from wanting marriage one day to wanting to be a complete player the next day. So let's see what this is about. What is the extremes? Yep, judgment card. Oh my God. You need to make a decision so that you're in really at peace with your actions. Judgment card says that you need to let something go. Judgment here. So what I'm seeing, Pisces, is the, the spirit is really recommending that you let go of anybody that you really don't have any strong feelings about. That at the end of the day, it's bad karma if you're just in it to play and they're, they want something more and you know that. So what we're seeing here is when it comes to the creativity, it looks like you're really, you're being very successful. It looks like a lot of success here for you. The world card, the, the universe card is the same as a world card. It speaks to the fact that you want to go to the next level. You do feel as though you owe somebody an apology or they owe you an apology. But right now, you're not letting that interfere. Tell us what this card of focus is, this transformative focus. What are you focused on right now? Let's see. Empress energy, I like it. Empress is where we need to be. The Empress doesn't need to chase anybody. The Empress is, is somebody who attracts the energy. So Pisces, you're on the right track here. So what we're seeing here is the two of coins with the with the Knight of Wands. So you have two different options. Chariot card says that you're, you know, you're moving quickly between two people. That's where the extremes are coming in. Tell us something about that. Yeah, movement of wands. I mean, hardcore player energy here, Pisces. That's your energy right now. You don't want to make a choice. You don't want to give anything up. You like having it all. Okay, but we have the Ace of Swords. So your person and you used to probably work together. You've had a history with this person. Heart of Cups is Queen of Cups. So you may be dealing with the Queen of Cups here, but you both love each other. So love is not the question here. It's your intent for long term is what we're really looking at. And the Justice card, why is it here for you, Pisces? Nine of Wands. Well, you have fire in your belly for this person. You both have fire in your belly for each other because it's mutual energy. It really speaks to the fact that, you know, you want you want the relationship. But again, juggling two seems comfortable. Okay, so why do we have the Fool card here? Your person is feeling a little bit foolish. They want a new beginning with you. The Sun card. You represent their happiness. Look at this. The Sun twice. That is no accident. So they, I don't, there's something about your sense of humor, something about the way you are, you're sexy, you're fun, you're hot, you're intense, and they have fallen really in love with you. Scorpio energy, you have been very transformative in their life. So we have the Queen and King of Cups facing each other, look at that, you know, and the Nine of Wands in the middle, isn't that funny how those clarifiers came up, that both of you love each other and you both have fire in your belly. That, I think, is what we, that is so unusual that I would have the clarifiers actually speaking to one another. I never think of it like that, but boy, that is a clear-cut message, that the two of you love each other very deeply. The Sun card is here twice. Why is it here twice? The Movement of Cups, making an offer, an offer of love. Some This is actually an offer of love. That's, you know, both, you see your person your person sees you as single, ready to mingle, really hot, looking good. You have it all. Everybody would want you. And the five of coins. Okay, so there we go. We have this energy of the five of coins, which says that somebody got left in the cold. That five of coins energy is also how your person views you as someone who is feeling pretty, pretty unraveled or pretty unhappy, pretty left in the cold. Again, tell us who did that. Yeah, they said something really mean-spirited. They walked away and it came as a total shock. 
tell us where this person is with this eight of cups energy right now they want to heal it they're not in a hurry the ace of cups they're thinking about it they're thinking about just exactly what this can become what they want it to be why is a tower card here innocence of pentacles somebody was really naive boy oh boy a tower card over an offer that was only a page of pentacles offer spirit of swords king of swords somebody thought they were being so smart that's aquarius energy they thought oh they're being so strategic eight of swords that's over Okay, so I see your person right now in this energy of having left you. It looks like they left you for someone else, but they really never made any promises to you. But it looks really harsh. It looks like whatever brought down the tower card is now something that they want to ignore. They don't they want to heal this. The Knight of the Spirit of Swords says that they realize that they made a pretty catastrophic mistake in the relationship reading. But again, I don't really see them taking action, Pisces. This person feels, it can also, the energies can be vice versa. Spirit of wand. So your person does want to come forward. The Ace of Coins is an offer that's going to be made of significance that is hidden in all of this. So let's see what else about this offer we need to know. Tower card, okay. Not liking that at all. Oh my gosh. So Pisces, I don't know what's going on here. This just looks like you're not ready for relationship. I'm really getting that, like, what's whatever's going on right now. High Priestess, you just seem to not be speaking. I'm not, you know, a lot of times it's just not, it's not intuitively right for you. And so you want what you want. And you're that's how you're defining your happiness. As you should. You are going to give up the burdens of codependence. You are healing. But right now, I'm just, boy, I just see that you, you and your partner look like you love each other so much. And yet, with two towers here, it's like you can't make it work. That's what I'm getting. I mean, it's like, how do you have two towers? The hidden tower and the one that's already had taken place when this person walked away. So the hidden tower could be, you know, a realization. The outcome card short term this week is a page of cups. Small offer of love that goes unanswered. A message possibly that goes unanswered. A feeling ghosted. Eight of coins. You may get some sort of obligatory response from somebody that... Yeah, six of cups, though. The feeling I'm getting here is that both of you really love each other. I don't even think there's any doubt. We see that up here. But it just looks like Pisces, like you're not choosing this person or this person isn't choosing you. I'm going to just take this as a lot of vice versa energy. You both want this to work. We saw that at the beginning of the reading. There looks like there's a reunion, but after a period of time, it doesn't look like it happens immediately it looks like it could be about nine days or so but it doesn't look like the responses and the communication are easy flowing well that's a reading for only a week it is a timeless reading though so let me know what you think below thanks so much for joining me everyone Bye bye